What's up, YouTubers? Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix and patch a freezer tray that leaked out all the refrigerant and recharge the refrigerant. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of these DIY household and automotive projects. All right, let's get to it. All right, now first thing we're going to do is we're going to patch this little hole in the coil. Now on these mini fridges, they just use this little freezer tray and that cools the whole mini fridge. And it's got a little hole in it and all the refrigerant escaped from defrosting it with the picking at it with like a screwdriver. So um, word to the wise, just unplug it to defrost it and just let it melt. First thing we'll do is we'll grab a little sandpaper and we're going to scuff up the area where the hole is. A couple little holes, scuff it up real nice. Then I'm going to go ahead and spray a little rubbing alcohol on it. Wipe that down, get it real good and clean. All right, we're going to use some of this JB Quick Weld epoxy to fill those holes in and you just mix 50% of each kind together. Then we'll just mix them together. Take some of it. Cover up those holes. Alright, there we go. I've got them both covered up. Now this JB Weld is going to take around 12 hours to 24 hours. So I'll let this set up and we'll get back to recharging it. Alright, so it's been a day and this stuff is rock hard. So let's get to recharging it now. Alright, so we'll come over to the back of the fridge where our compressor is located. And we're going to be using one of these, which is a bullet piercing valve. I'll go ahead and put some links in the description to the tools and supplies I used. But uh, what this is going to do is it's going to pierce a small hole in the copper line to the compressor that we'll be able to add it to. So, Alright, so we'll pick a little flat spot in the uh, copper piping and we'll clean it up with a little fine grit sandpaper. Get that area clean. So we'll just unscrew these three Allen heads all the way, these black ones. Okay, so with the two halves apart, there's a couple of these little adapters for the size of the piping. So we'll just go ahead and fit it and see which one fits and it looks like the smaller one fits so we're just going to leave the smaller one nested on top of the bigger one and it snaps into that little groove we're going to want to set it up so that we can gain access to the port on the side now we'll put those screws in okay so we'll go ahead and snug down all these black allen heads really tight there we go okay so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to drive this center allen in and this is the piercing valve one it has a small needle point on the other end and what that's going to do is it's going to drive and pierce a hole in the copper tubing. You're just going to drive this in all the way. There we go. Now I've got it driven in so the valve is pierced. Now we're going to do is back this off and it's going to open it up so we'll be able to add the refrigerant. Okay, we'll take the cap off to our access port. Okay, now you're going to want to get one of these R12 to R134A conversion kits and we're going to use the long one right here we're going to screw it on to our access port okay so if you're having to add refrigerant to your fridge either you've got a really slow leak or you've got a fast leak and if you got a fast leak you got to figure out where the leak is and fix that first but if it's a slow leak over many years it doesn't really matter but either way you should vacuum the system to get all the air out all right so we'll hook the hose up to the end we'll open it up Okay, now you can rent this vacuum and gauge set at AutoZone, and I've also got a video on how to do this. And it's also going to tell you if you've got the leak fixed, and it's going to pull the air out of the system. So we'll turn it on. Open up our valve. We're going to want to get this down to around 30. Alright, so when you get it down to 30, close it off. Shut our thing off, our vacuum pump. Now we can see if it'll hold vacuum. We'll just leave it here for a few minutes, and if it holds it, it holds. Alright, great. We know it's holding vacuum now. Now we can go ahead and shut the valve, and we'll take off the hose. Alright, now we can add the refrigerant. So it's going to take regular R134A refrigerant, and if you go ahead and check the back of the fridge or the manual, a lot of the times you'll be able to find the amount, and this is only 1.4 ounces on the mini fridge. So I'll go ahead and put this on the scale, and then when um, I add the refrigerant, I'll just subtract that amount so I know how much. Okay, and we're going to want to plug in our fridge while we recharge it. Alright, so we'll hook up the refrigerant line hose. Snaps right on. We're going to open the valve just one turn of the Allen. There we go. Now we're going to add the refrigerant. 
Just little small bursts. Alright, so I've got about one and a half ounces out of the can, and it's best to weigh the can by itself like that. And then I also check inside the fridge and make sure that it's getting cold that tray, and it is. So we'll go ahead and close this valve down good and tight. Now that's closed. Now we can take this off. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put this thermometer in the fridge and uh, see if it works. It should be around uh, 32 to 40 degrees, so we'll come back in a couple hours. Alright, awesome. Looks like it's running about 40 degrees, so this job is done. Alright guys, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and check out my other videos. Give this one a thumbs up for me and leave a comment if you want. Alright guys, thanks for watching Johnny DIY. Keep on doing it yourself. Take care. Shoo!